party in this particular case. Yenyawono, what did you hear the Supreme Court say about the Enet that one? Then I will tell you. Okay. Apart from the meetings, I will tell Court no a grantino no, print out no, okay for me okay five true copy okay now I will start for FM uh, I'm say relief one already strike out as withdrawn then I send me anyway and it's for my friends here or my friend more relief one as mm -hmm. assign it will relief two a kind of was a meal yes relief two this relief is granted subject to the fact that all eligible voters must make themselves available for registration as directed by the EC PES 1 to CI 126. Now, what is relief 2? What does relief 2 say? In the entry, relief 2 in the entry, say, my end is for a EBR. Now, relief 2 now, almost one can't let's just say, a declaration that upon a true and proper interpretation of the provisions of the Constitution, Article 51, read conjointly with Article 51, the power of the defendant to compile and review the voters' rights and must exercise subject to respect for and protection for the right to vote. It's relief 2, almost one can't say, I can't know any. But the point is, I'm say a subject to C one two six. So we need to just say we be person vote here. Um, no, we need to just say if the electoral commission for a compile register, they must suspend the right to vote. It doesn't give anybody any relief. It doesn't do anything. So for me, we need to was just mere commentary on the constitution. Mm -hmm. It doesn't talk about the voter ID card. It doesn't talk about um the birth certificate. Are you, are you following me? Yes, me too, pal. Uh -huh. mm. Then we leave three. I say we leave three. This relief is granted. Uh, also subject to voter registration card issued to eligible voter under the prevailing constitution CI 126. So relief 3 is granted subject to CI 126. That is what it says. Mm -hmm. So if relief 2 in Pono say Obe relief 3 Obe enjoyer, it is subject to 126, CI 126. Now what does relief 3 talk about? Relief 3 they say a declaration that upon a true and interpretation of the provisions of the constitution, particularly Article 42, Upon the registration of a license of voter ID card to a person, that person has an accrued right to vote, which cannot be divested in an arbitrary manner. Simple as that. So we need to say that anything was talking about. Obviously, if you have a voter ID card, you have a right to vote. Simple. It doesn't talk about old ID card or existing ID card. But no know, coordinates granted, subject to CI 126. Say, yes, you have that right, but it must be in accordance with C1. CI 126. CI 126 is now the parliament. Yes, and I don't know what no ID card. Now, most importantly, I didn't just for paper. It is from relief 4 to relief 8. Mm -hmm. All of them were dismissed. Relief 4 was to the effect that the declaration that upon the true point interpretation of the provision of the constitution, particularly Article 42 of the constitution, all existing voter ID cards duly issued by the second defendant as the electoral commission. To SF voters are valid. That's what any people are saying. A declaration by the court say all existing voter ID cards issued by the Electoral Commission to SF voters are valid for purposes of identifying such persons that have the right to vote. What did the court say? Really for dismissed. Mm. Hello, Patrick, is it unclear? Yeah, really four is dismissed and dismissed. we retreat our position in Abu Ramadan number two super. I don't yeah. Will you fall? Let's just say dismiss. Simple as that. Absolutely. Will you fall? Dismiss. <laughs> say you can't use voter ID card mm -hmm. for people to identify you in the right in the in the in the, in the voter registration. You could see say on then, the simple FBI. Really five. And this is what say. They wanted a declaration that upon a true and proper interpretation of the constitution, specifically Article 43, 42, I'm sorry. The second defendant supported amendment of Revolution One, sub Revolution Three of the CI ninety one through. The public relations voters registration, um, registration of voters amendment regulations 2020 to exclude existing voter ID cards as proof of identification to enable a person apply for registration as a voter is unconstitutional. It will be five, almost say, court will declare say, the electoral commission will exclude the existing ID card. You know? They are acting unconstitutionally. What did the court say? Will really five dismissed? Simple. Will really five dismissed? Yeah, really no five dismissed, yes. Um, we will say also dismiss. We will say this reason. No? We will say was that a declaration of the second defendant, the electoral commission again, in purporting to exercise this power, special one to Article 51 of the Constitution, to exclude existing voter ID cards from the documents required as proof of ID to enable a person to register as a voter without any classification is arbitrary. So, we say the court should declare say, if a electoral commission excludes existing voter ID cards, they are acting arbitrarily. 
the court said will insist is dismissed. Dismissed, yes. And they, however, retreat the decision of Bruma Dan, where just been stated that if the law provides for safe ways of performing the task, the discretion is vested in the actor in deciding on the elements of the constitution to which one of them would best choose the task at hand. Mm. With seven two, almost say end is for the court declares say upon a true point to the constitution, uh, proof of ID for registration as a voter should not be limited by provisions of CI one two six. What did the court say? Um, say dismiss subject to provisions of contained in CI one two six. So uh, then we eight again um, say it is refused and they, they are retreating the position in Abu Ramadan number two. Mm -hmm. Then they go ahead to examine the release sought by the second plaintiff, um, Techie Banson. Yeah, yeah, Banson, they are no. Yes. Yes. All of them were dismissed. We leave one dismissed, we leave two dismissed, we leave three dismissed, we leave four dismissed, we leave five dismissed. And then, uh, let me see where I say we leave six. We leave six, it's also dismissed. So, yes. We leave six dismissed. Techie Banson no, saw the same release as the NDC. Which was that they should allow the use of the old voter ID card and even went further to say that they should allow the use of birth certificates and all the relief were dismissed. At. How can any people contend say a woman case need to allow the use of old voter ID card? He cannot be. So, as far as I'm concerned, a simple FM. and as is clearly borne out by the ruling, all the relief sought by something relief sought by the NDC were dismissed. The something relief sought by the NDC related to the use of the old voter ID card. They all dismissed. And also, Tajibansin proceeded further, said they should allow the use of birth certificate. They also dismissed. So, the only release that we're granted, well, the commentary, the commentary of the constitution, I said the constitution, you, know, you cannot bring somebody's right to vote. But now, there is, it's not my everybody knows. Everybody knows say, the constitution, under the constitution, you cannot bring anybody's right to vote. And those, those reliefs added nothing at all. They were just mere commentary on the true meaning and effect of articles 42 and 45. Indeed, from from uh, understanding of the ruling and said here uh, what Shremus is here no? on Tuesday, if the Electoral Commission should begin registration now, nobody can appear at a polling a registration centre with the with old the voters. voters' ID card. So if, you, if you do so, you, you, you should be driven away. Where sir, say to me, I drive you away. And if you are an electoral officer and and you attempt to accept such an old old ID card. You have acted unlawfully a bit required to act to because mm. the Supreme Court made clear consequential orders. Or see, it could see in SS the power is confident as under Article 2. Yes. And under Article 2, you know, the Supreme Court has the power to make consequential orders and such consequential orders. And the nature of even um, um, directives given as the constitution itself, it carries the effect of a constitutional friends, uh, order. Yes. And and they say that we make we hereby make the following orders. It is here by orders that all stakeholders, all Ghanaians, should comply with CI phrase one to six. It says it's here by order that all stakeholders and all Ghanaian eligible voters are directed to comply with articles forty two and forty five of the constitution and the public relations regulations um amendment regulations. Amendment regulations twenty twenty CI one two six CI one two six as related by the Electoral Commission in turn out that their constitutional mandate in the comparison of a new voters register. Mm. So the Supreme Court itself has admonished and has ordered and directed all Ghanaians to comply with CI 126. And CI 126, Nelson Ekase, say, oh, Baba register, passport, Ghana yes. card, and now say, oh, be our register that I be guarantee how many people do. Yes, guarantee system. Yeah, the Ghana system. Mm. And then the court even went ahead to say that any other case which is pending in any lower court huh? mm -hmm. is supposed to be dealt with by the judge before whom it is paid. It now, court, it the, the Supreme Court today was quite categorical and were quite clear in, in the directives that they gave today. And they didn't want to leave any room at all for any ambiguity or, or any manipulation by anybody at all. The Supreme Court wanted to keep the possibility of a manipulation or or any untoward act by any person in the country. So the court went ahead and gave an order, say, all courts are supposed to comply with this order given by the highest court of the land today. Mm. The highest court of the land today has totally declined, dismissed the relief sought by the NDC relating to the inclusion of the old voter ID card and, and the birth certificate, as well as a declaration that Regulation 1 
um, sub region three of CI one two six zone constitutional. Those have been dismissed totally. Mm. Lawyer, lawyer, dami yeah. ma yen shena yen na se in the consequential orders me and sanda na wo kind of say uh, Supreme Court na ye clear in one ne se electoral commission and a Ghana phone na should abide by the provisions of CI one two six in in registering two ne mm. se by this decision. The Electoral Commission, i.e. Second Defendant in Suit Number J19-2020 and First no. Defendant in the Second Suit no, are hereby directed to commence the compilation of the voters' registration exercise as scheduled. Yes. Three, they say, by these decisions and by virtue of Article 132 of the Constitution, mm -hmm. any court in which same or similar action is pending or yet to be filed ain't it just a future case is cyber ben you know apply the decision rendered by the supreme court in these consolidated suits yes it is. Hey. i think that the supreme court ought to be commended because it's actually a step in ensuring that there's order in the decision of justice now and only a preemptive dodo well but the point is that the supreme court also you see the supreme court has been given what we call residual powers so they they are they are they are powers that vested in other courts with the supreme court under articles 129 as well as 130 have the power to exercise so the supreme court is a in exercise of any jurisdiction imposed upon it in hearing a matter when it comes to its attention say there's a matter pending in another court which has a bearing on what is before it can even without any of the parties applying exercise the power powers make any order to affect the the determination of the action in the lower court Indeed, yesterday, the Supreme Court exercised such a power in, 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 in my case. And we will make it. So we, may, we came to court trying to get the um, Supreme Court to allow the state to acquire mm -hmm. the assets of Wyoming. Mm -hmm. Then the affidavit of Mr. Wyoming, or no opposed the application, also uh, the state company is acting unlawfully because there's a case pending the High Court. Uh, I, uh, we are not respecting, instead of respecting the case pending the High Court, we are proceeding to sell his assets. <laughs> the court on answer no by so the court make orders okay after this ruling the case pending the high court is state because the high court has not the power to make any orders in a matter which is pending the supreme court we'll make it to the supreme court now high court we will affair it here high court say they were fighting injunction to high court and we're not respecting court man order straight away then then so the high court should stop <laughs> and that's the power that is vested in the supreme court i think that is very important that these things ought to be explained to the public because it's all in interest for ensuring that the rule of law is occurred in this country. The kind of situation where the Supreme Court has taken its time to deal with the matter, um, give orders. These are very seasoned judges, seven judges, such a matter. And yeah. then, and then, seven, seven, a lower court, considered by one person, also be doing something which will contrary to the specific direction of the Supreme Court. Of the matter. Supreme Court. So, okay. so, so what the it Supreme Court has done is, is separately in order and actually it must be occurred that they did not want to counter it is where we come back to court again like uh, naturally we still be at time no mm, and mm. I my corner son and final point be a me person you need clarity on a year or relief number three a declaration that upon a true and proper interpretation of the provisions of the constitution particularly article 42 upon the registration of and issuance of a voter identification card to a person mm -hmm. that person has an accrued right to right. vote yes. which cannot be divested in an arbitrary mm -hmm. and capricious manner yes. in the per, the, per interpretation of we you know say maybe what card that da, da voters id card that da, da what does it mean <laughs> what it means if you uh -huh. this provision again uh, this um relief i'm sorry apply for but again it's just as I said, one of the commentaries that they sought to make on the constitutional provision. I agree with this um, um, relief that they're they, they, they making. All they're saying is, oh, I declare you have a, an accrued right to vote. Yes, it is true. If I have a vote, I declare an accrued right to vote. If there's, a, if, if there's any voting inside, going on, I can vote. By entry ID card crop. Yes, entry ID card crop. And apart from that, that's what the Supreme Court in its future said, yes, but subject to CI 126. <laughs> so it tells you that Supreme Court can't say, subject to the voter registration card issued to eligible voter under the prevailing constitutional instrument, CI 126. Mm. I said, yes, you have a right 
to go and vote if you have a voter ID card. Right? It's subject to a voter ID card issued under CA 126. Okay. Okay. In the budget, the unya unya card na emrano ma kwa iso be tuaba be wase e ye card a e ba under CI one two six. Under CI one two six. That is what the Supreme Court is saying. Mm. So it has effectively nullified the um, existing uh, voters' ID. No. Yes, they use an impossibility of the old voter ID card. The old voter ID card now has no right at all. There is no right accruing the under. Because it, it, it is said here yes, that yes, it is subject to a voter ID card issued under CI one two six. Clearly, what I say, my my young man, say, fancy. Be be any, I Why? Which way does it pass? And I think mm. I must place on record, say, um, they attend by some people to as a, as a, as it were hoodwink the masses. No, it's deplorable. We cannot be leaders in a country like Ghana, democratic institution, a democratic state like Ghana, Simple. governed by rule of law. You go to court, the highest court, the law. Of the land, I'm sorry, makes orders which are binding everybody. The orders are so clear, and then you go ahead and pay your falsehood. Say what we need is now, I guarantee a prince would vote. I can say you should use it. Where some part you're even encouraging people to go and give unlawfully, then and that's your achievement of what they will not understand. And that's why, because of you, your own um directly to them today, they should go with their old vote. I how when it's been called as outlawed, it is outlawed totally here. Yeah. Uh, I think that we should also try and um, and to be that's so friendly. I hope that we continue mm. to educate people. Girlfriend, Matia, that's it. Yes, 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 y